That's fun, though. Michelle from Good Day Sailing joining us now. It is Munching Monday. We've got a guest from the Beloit Club. Hey, Michelle. Yeah, good morning. So why not kick off your Monday with a martini? Yes. George yes. is going to be making the toasted pear martini from Beloit Club this morning. Yeah. And I feel like you are so prepared. You I literally am. have I am. everything I'm, I'm, pre I'm, I'm all ready. Yep, yep. So I'm guessing there's um, pear. There is. We have uh, pear vodka. Okay. A little triple sec, some simple syrup, and then uh, pear puree. Ooh, yeah. how do you make that? It's really good. Yeah, we make pear that at the, at, back at the club. Yeah. You have a lot yeah. of fresh fruits and fresh fruit juices. We do. I've everything seen the orange we, machine. Yeah, <laughs> everything we do at the club is all fresh. We use fresh herbs, uh, all fresh ingredients, nothing from the can, fresh juices, yeah. And I know that, obviously, Beloit Club is in Beloit. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to live in Beloit or even Wisconsin to be a no, member. No, anybody can be a member from wherever. Yeah, we and, have members from all over. And there's something exciting happening right now with memberships. Yes. Right now we have, if you join for 2021, the remainder of 2020 is free. Which is pretty exciting. Yeah. I mean, we yeah. got to make some yeah. good out of 2020. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> we have right, a couple George. months left. Yeah, so, a couple yeah. months left to enjoy. So tell me or show okay, me this so martini. Okay, we're gonna, so we're going to do our toasted pear martini. We're gonna start with, this is pear vodka. Okay. You can use any kind. We use Grey Goose pear vodka. We'll do about an ounce and a half. And you just know what that is. Oh yeah, your oh yeah. <laughs> Been doing it too long. <laughs> then we're gonna do about a half ounce of triple sec. Okay. Then we're gonna use a little simple syrup. All right. About, Sugar probably and water, about, but yep, yep. appropriately mixed. It's just a 50-50 combination. Sure. Then we'll use our pear puree. I wondered what that was. Yeah. All right, so it's already looking beautiful. Oh, yeah. Then we'll, f we'll fill our uh, shaker up with ice. Right, you always need ice for a good cocktail. Oh, yeah. Get it nice and chilled. Well, actually, while this is chilling and mixing, we're going to get our shell ready. Okay. So we use a little bit of Everclear okay. in the shell, which is pure grain alcohol. And that's just to toast the cinnamon and nutmeg all right so we're gonna light this up oh this is the fun part <laughs> yep yep there we go all right so we're getting toasty yeah we are cool so then we have our cinnamon and nutmeg uh-huh get a nice toast on that that's awesome then we're gonna chop stir oh it smells good too okay doesn't it so we chop stir our martini which is just hitting the ice really hard, kind of breaks it up, makes the cocktail very chilled. I'm guessing we're almost at the end here. Yeah. Okay, it smells so good. So you're probably just gonna pour that in, right? We're gonna pour that right on top. Right, we're gonna pour it on top. Can I taste it even when it's on fire, or did you just oh, it'll put the go fire out? out? It'll go out. <laughs> you put the fire out, so it's not gonna be yeah. hot when I try it, right? No, nope, no. Nope. All right, well, thank you, George. We are actually oh, gonna welcome. cook with the White Club coming up later, um, but I'm gonna try this back to you guys. So cool. Oh, I yeah. love the lighting on fire and everything. <laughs> so fun there. Thanks so much, Michelle. I want to leave you, though, with our Morning Mug Club question of the day. We're talking back to school. Favorite lunches?